buy them on the opposite way. Look. There's beetles. What? They're selling beetles in a vending machine. Hey guys, and welcome back to our Japan adventure. Today is actually a really exciting video because we're going to be checking out all of the crazy, insane vending machines around Tokyo, Japan. And we're so excited because if you look online, there are so many different vending machines to see. And we've hunted out some of the most craziest ones so we can share it with you guys. But first, we're going to head to our local 7-Eleven our local <laughs> and grab a coffee and grab some breakfast. So let's go. So he's got his warm coffee. Oh my god, it's such so nice. So this is actually warm from the counter, which is the most amazing. If they had this in the UK, do you not think that would be life changing? Yeah, and I don't even know how they keep it warm. They have like warm green tea, warm coffee, like milky tea. There's a lot of like warm hot water. So this is going to fuel us because one of the vending machines we're going to is 40 minutes out of Tokyo. And there's nothing around. There's nothing around. So it's going to be an absolute adventure. And now you're fueled up. Let's go. So you might be watching this video thinking, vending machines. But in Japan, I'm not even joking, there are vending machines every corner that you turn. And this is what one of them looks like. And what's got, really like, cool, drinks. you can get like hot drinks here. And of course, like, you get your normal standard cold drinks. But no joke, there's a vending machine ev everywhere. Every corner you turn. Which is why we've hunted down the most coolest vending machines that we can find. Because not all of them do drinks. <gasps> Now try and explain where to go, babe. So this is basically behind the JR Shinkansen gates. And this is a noodle vending machine. And it basically does ramen. ramen noodles at the train station. And spicy miso. Ah! But we're actually going to try it out to see if it's any good. We have ramen! Wow! Right, let's do a little taste test. Here cool. we're ready. Be careful because I feel like it's going to be really hot. Full. Look at hot. At least you know it's cooked. <laughs> I'm actually really impressed with that. Look how cool that is. What a cool vending machine. That is really cool. So we've just travelled about 20 minutes outside of Tokyo. About half an hour, I would say. And this place is called Kamata, and it's like a really cute town. And there's basically a vending machine here that we really want to see because it's a dating vending machine. So it's been your source we can find it because it's been a, it's been so hard to find this. The location online is literally non-existent. We just knew it was in this town. So we're going to go for an explore and hopefully find this dating vending machine. And hopefully it's still there. <laughs> so we think we found the street. This looks like the one photo that we saw online. And I know what you're thinking. They all look like normal drinks, vending machines. But if we go inside, apparently it's just around this corner. It's there. <gasps> yes! <gasps> the dating vending machine! So this vending machine has little cans where you can buy information about a person, including their name, age, job, and then you basically bring them to go on a date. And he's just not interested. <laughs> but on a serious note, the Love vending machine was actually sold out. I'm not gonna lie, it's a bit weird. It's kind of a cute thing, isn't it? Can you imagine like getting married to someone and then being like, yeah, we met on a vending machine can? Just actually a date inside that set up the vending machines to help single people find love, which I think is quite cute. And do you know what I read about it? What? If you actually have a successful marriage, you get 300,000 yen. Do you? Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> but that is definitely one of the coolest vending machines we've seen so far. Cold, but also a little bit strange. <laughs> it's finally lunch time. Lunch break. I feel like the dating vending machine, because it was so far out, has taken the whole morning. But we are going. Where are we going for lunch? It's called Irichan. And it is a chain in Tokyo. And it is really famous for the fact that you do not speak to anyone. To anyone. You get your own little booths and you use a piece of paper to circle what you want. So we're going to show you, take you with the experience. I feel it's kind of fitting because it's kind of like a vending machine where you put your order in and super excited to have some ramen. So um, let's go and experience it. Oh, 
Well, that was an experience. Definitely experience. I'm really full and it was very spicy. So if you don't like spicy food, make sure you go for like a no spice option. Mine was mild, but now my nose won't stop running. Yeah. So I'm guessing it had chilli or something in there. Um, everyone seems to go to the Shibayu store and that's always like an hour to like an hour and a half queue. And we went to Ueno Park and it was what would you say? I'd say it was like a 10 minute wait. Yes, definitely. Really easy. And it's like peak lunch time. Yes, definitely look around and don't go to Shibaya one if you don't want to queue. <laughs> okay, so we're at the next vending machine spot. That's and horrendous. It is so bad. I'm going to turn you around in two seconds, but this is basically called the Akihabara Creepy Vending Machine Corner. It makes me want to climb on the opposite way. Are you braced? It's literally that. What on earth? How creepy does that look? It looks like a rundown shack. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna go and explore because apparently there's some really peculiar items in these vending I'd machines. Like to say it is such a sunny day, but it doesn't look very sunny in there. Babe, look! <gasps> there's beetles! What? They're selling beetles oh. in a vending machine. <gasps> this was the popcorn machine that's got down the side. Hello! Oh my god, it <laughs> Shut up! Hello! Oh. Go! There's a wallet! There's a purse in there! There's a purse! Oh. In there. oh, okay, that's a no! You're all gonna think we're mental, but we went back and brought a mystery box. No idea what's inside, but there's people's faces on it, so. <laughs> I'm scared! Right, bye. You open it there and I'll leave you. No. Bye! It might be full of things that are gonna take your soul. <laughs> Babe, I'm scared. Really? I'm scared, yeah, what is it? What is it? We've got some animal cookies. <laughs> 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 the most creepiest place we've got animal cookies. They count. So if you feel brave enough and more brave than we are to come here, then it's literally a four minute walk from the Akihabara train station. Before we move on, we'll just do one quick recap of what's inside. So if you want to come here again, Beatles, weird lemon juice, and then it's just these awful alleys, which are the creepiest. I feel like we're not going to go back in here again. I'm scared. Oh, let anything come running out of there. It's scary. So I think we've shaken off any bad energy from that creepy alley. <laughs> we are still in Akihabara and we're thinking, are we getting KFC? We're actually not getting KFC. Oh. But right next to KFC is this vending machine. Which wow. Is King's Treasure Box. King's and Treasure Box. Uh, they call it King's Treasure Box. And the reason why it's 1,000 yen, which is a bit expensive. Crikey. But apparently you can win any of these things. That means an Apple Watch, you can win. You can win a drone. They've got Nintendo 3DS Lite. Yeah. Like, PlayStation. Or you could just get a watch. Right, babe, what do you think we're going to win? I'm going to say we're going to win a camera. Okay, <laughs> high hopes. Fingers crossed, everyone. Let's, let's get our coins. Yeah. It won't take our money. We literally, that's the first time I've ever said that. I want to take our money as bad as this. But that being said, there is more King's Treasure vendor machines around Tokyo. So if we come across one, we'll do it. But that's annoying. It looks like we're a thousand yen richer. I am just going to say, I reckon we would have won this massive car. Because I reckon this car is in the size of this vendor machine. So... Yeah, I'm just going to say we won the car. So we think we found our last vending machine location and it's in a giant arcade called Adores Shibaya. Would you eat a cake from a machine from an arcade? Yeah. Yeah, I would. <laughs> and with that, I did just give it away. It's actually a cake vending machine, so let's go see if it's inside. <laughs> ah! As soon as we got inside, this vending machine was so hard to find, but on the top floor, the cake vending machine was there. We actually thought the cake was going to be disgusting, but no joke, it actually was 10 hours, and it was so nice. We went with strawberry cream cheesecake, and it was, oh, it was so it good. It was actually amazing. <laughs> Just like to clarify that yes, we are in our hotel bathroom because it's the only good lighting we have. It's a nice hotel, but the lighting is not on point. Let's just talk about the cake in the tin. I thought it was really nice. It was 10 out of 10. But I feel like if the UK had that, it would sell out all the time. What do you think your favourite vending machine out of the whole day was? My favourite vending machine that we went to, I, I think the cake. I think the cake, the cake was really, really good. I feel like mine was the creepy alley, even though we 
hated it just because it was so cool to experience how weird that was. Yeah, it was cool, but I'm definitely more about the food. But if you guys did like this video, give it a big fat thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a Japan adventure. And if you do want another vending machine uh, video, there are so many around Japan. So if you want us to explore more vending machines, leave a comment and let us know. But until next time, love you guys, and we'll see you soon. Bye! Bye.